Hello everybody, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. I'd like to take about two minutes now to introduce you to another one of my playlists. The title is Shocking Facts About James and Paul. Now, there is a form of art that has a, a hidden picture within, and no one sees it at first. However, when one stares intently, then suddenly this hidden picture stands out as clear as daylight. This is what happens when we finally connect all the dots in the history of the early church as found in the book of Acts, the book of James, and the Pauline epistles. Now, When we read the book of James, I think a person's initial reaction to it is, this is a, a, an apparent contradiction to the teachings we find in uh, the book of John and the Pauline epistles. Uh, James is contradicting the doctrine of salvation by faith alone in Christ alone. That is the immediate uh, reaction. Until we are trained and learn how to explain the book of James and make it make sense, so that it, it's not really an apparent contradiction, it's just a, a seeming contradiction. Well, I I, uh, I spent many years studying all the different answers so that James made sense because we know that the Bible doesn't contradict itself. So there must be an answer. And I learned all of the answers that are popular today. But I realized that all of those answers were contrived and they were ways that I was trying to force a square peg into a round hole. My conclusion came back to my original impression that it is a clear contradiction, the teaching of James and the teaching of Paul. Now, Let's compare the doctrines of James and Paul here just very briefly. James says in James 2.25, You see then that a man is justified by works and not by faith only. But Paul says in Romans 3.28 and elsewhere, Therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. Anybody who reads these statements the first time, uh, their first impression is going to be they clearly disagree. So who's right? Well, the correct position is Paul's position, and the, the doctrine that we're saved by faith alone in Christ alone, no religious works are required in our part for justification, for salvation. So, uh, even though um, I have, and perhaps you, if you're watching this video now, you have uh, studied and learned how to explain away the, the seeming contradiction, I'm convinced that Paul and James did not agree. Uh, and my conclusion is that James was a Jew who would not give up Judaism. Paul wrote about uh, and condemned James and his followers. They were the Judaizers he referred to in the book of Galatians. Now, I challenge anyone to find in the book of James the doctrines of the deity of Christ, salvation by grace alone, salvation by faith alone, in Christ alone, the atonement of Jesus' death on the cross, 
the bodily resurrection of Jesus and the doctrine of eternal security. None of this can be found in the book of James. But what we find in the book of James is not only the one verse that I cited, but other verses where James is clearly saying that works are required for salvation. Now, there is a way to understand this correctly. And if you will watch my videos on the playlist, Shocking Facts About James and Paul, you'll, you'll learn that James and Paul did not agree. And it was because James was writing about the position of the church at the very beginning. The first uh, years of the church, they were unaware that the gospel would be offered to the whole world. They thought it was only for the Jews, only for the nation of Israel. So that was the first mistake. It was corrected, and Peter went and preached to Cornelius, and from then the gospel went off to the Gentile world. The other mistake was the belief that Christianity is a combination of Judaism and faith in Jesus. What we find in the book of Acts and the epistles of Paul and the book of James is an argument over this very point. And I, in my playlist, I go into great detail to prove this point that there was a resistance in the early church, particularly the church in Jerusalem, led by James, a resistance to let go of Judaism. Paul argued that you cannot, continuing to believe in your religion as part of a salvation formula, that you've got to follow the Mosaic laws, you've got to be circumcised, you've got to follow the dietary laws, you've got to have temple worship, you've got to have animal sacrifices. All these things were eventually weeded out at the great insistence of the Apostle Paul saying we've got to leave that behind. You cannot have a gospel that is a combination of faith in Jesus and religious works in Judaism. You have to choose. You're either going to be a religious Jew or you're going to be a believer in Jesus and leave Judaism behind. That was an argument in the church that's well documented in Pauline letters and the book of Acts. So, of course, the truth won out, at least I know, and I, I hope if you are truly a Bible-believing Christian, you've come to the conclusion that Paul is right, that uh, uh, we don't have to practice Judaism. We should not make Judaism or any religious rules and regulations system uh, as a part of a, uh, a formula for gaining salvation. That you believe in Jesus, and then you've got to also do a series of religious things too. So I hope you will watch the entire playlist, and I will be very interested if you do watch all the videos on my playlist. If you think I'm wrong about any of this, then please make comments and, and uh, point out to me my, my errors. But don't make comments uh, unless you're actually willing to watch the entire video. This is one of the common mistakes I see. People see the title or they listen to the opening 30 seconds and immediately they start refuting me. Watch the entire video and then if you think I'm wrong, make a comment and tell me how I'm wrong. But I think if you approach this with an open mind, you will learn the truth that the, in the history of the early church, uh, they had to eventually learn to leave Judaism out of it. And this is where the book of James comes in. And when he wrote that book, they hadn't reached that point yet in church history that they need to stop telling people 
to follow all the tenets and rules of Judaism, that faith in Jesus is the only requirement. All right, so that's the intro to my playlist, Shocking Facts About James and Paul. Bless you in the name of our great Savior God, Jesus Christ.